everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are ready now to take these stairs down, because everything else is cleared up here. Oh wait, actually, um, I kind of just realized I forgot to erase my marks. Well, at least this mark. Those those ones I guess I can leave for the sake of remembrance of the puzzle. But yeah, I already got that treasure chest, so I can just kind of flip-flop down here and... Well, we are not getting past that quicksand obstacle. Or are we? Because we can solidify the quicksand just as any other sand with the powers of the sand wand. And this is why I didn't come here down come down here earlier without the key, because I would have to just go right back up anyway. <laughs> Alright, so now a couple of drones hanging out over here. We can solidify them all day and all night and then rock their world. Yeah, how do you like those apples? Oh, and then another one just spawns, which means that we probably need to use them for something. So, uh, there's these two switches over here, and we need both of them to, uh, be on the switches at once, because as soon as... Oh, shoot, well... <laughs> as soon as you get off of one of the switches, this door will immediately close, so, yeah, you kinda, you kinda be, need to be the one to cross that threshold, because watch, as soon as one of them wakes up and moves off the switch, you'll be able to... Come on, guys, come on, guys, you can do it! There, there, that, that's exactly what happened if you were to walk on the switch, so... If you only put one on the switch and then link on the other switch and then try to go through the door, you ain't getting through there. <laughs> Now over here to the left is a rather tricky uh, stamp station to get to because you've got quicksand, you've got holes that you can jump in, yeah, um, spears of doom, and that worked out a lot better than it did on other playthroughs, let me tell you. I must have fell in the sand like 20 times once. <laughs> So that worked out pretty well. I guess practice pays off. Or sheer dumb luck in my timing. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I thought that was gonna put me back over by the stamp station. Because you know, like if you go in the quicksand, it'll put you at the last stable location where you had your feet. But that was at the stamp station, not here. Oh well. <laughs> I will accept this with no problem whatsoever. Like, this here I'm gonna stand on because, you know, it's next solid spot, so if I should fall in, I'll get pooped out over there by the powers that be. Maybe it's Lakitu helping me out or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? And now we've got ourselves a block puzzle. We need to get a diamond the spike thing into this diamond the hole thing to open up this diamond the crystal door of the blue variety. But how do we do that? Because we can put we can push this thing all the way around in circles. It's like it never seems to line up. That's crazy. But if you, oof, I just, I just, I've solved the puzzle actually already. But if you were to push it like around in a two by two square over and over and over like this, it'll eventually line up with this and go right in place just by the mathematics of it and whatnot. But if you go, like, if you keep going around the outer perimeter of it, you're not gonna ever have this in a position where it's gonna be lined up, like from its starting position. So you've always got to cross over this middle one then go over to another one, you know, like from whatever side, and then you'll be able to get it into a position eventually, though you can just flop it over like that. If it doesn't line up, just keep going around in a 2x2 two two square over and over and over until you see it lining up on the next flip over to it, and you've got that puzzle solved like a pro. So you got another one of these contraptions over here. We've got ourselves a cracked wall over here, and a bridge that does not stay open. Unless something is on that switch. So, what can we do about that? Well, first, of course, we need a boulder in the slots. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> and then we put, put our body weight on that. But then we hit this with anything. I'm just use a boomerang because then I won't waste an arrow or something like that. But wait, when we get off of that switch. Oh, no. Oh no! So we need the wand again. <laughs> Just gonna push this this way. Don't worry about it touching you or anything like that. It only hurts you when it's being flung out at high speed. And voila. Okay, le <laughs> let me let me guess. It's are you trying to find treasure chests on this floor? I, I can tell you where the full treasure chests are with twenty rupees. 
Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just had the chat. Just, just to be sure. <laughs> okay, so... We don't need that gossip stone, I think. <laughs> we got another block puzzle going on here. Got to color code the puzzles. Like, you got, got the pinkish red type circle. Got the diamond blue. Yep, yep, yep. We also got ourselves a red door up here. We can leave the red door for later because as you see, it's late. it leads to the boss door key thing. So let's focus on the blue because the blue is right here and that's our way forward. So yeah, how do you like those apples? <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is a little shortcut back. Anyway, puzzle time. So when you get off your sand one, it should just zoom out completely. So we're just gonna do that two by two thing. Remember I said, just keep going around in a two by two circle and it will eventually line up with what you need it to. I probably should have went around the other way, but now it's too late because now we're in the middle, we're in the middle of the road. Oh shoot, no, 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 no. So finicky, no! So, oh no, I'm so going backwards. Okay, just a little bit, little bit to the side there. One more cycle and we'll turn that blue into happy red. Or, or no, no, that's not right. It's, we'll turn that frown upside down. No, no, that doesn't have a face. Well, we'll solve the puzzle, that's what we'll do. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe this, oh, maybe you can't do it on this particular one. Maybe you have to do it from this side is the two by two. Uh, yeah, let's go like that, flip that there, flip it up it up, do that there, uh, okay, maybe the 2x2 two two thing only worked on the other one. <laughs> nah, nah, you, you still will need to do the 2x2 two two thing to get it to flip in your favor. Uh, I'm actually gonna go, hold on a sec, I, I'm miscounting this, I'm gonna go all the way to this corner, and flipping that there, and then we go like up here, and then there, and then there. Yeah, I was miscounting that. <laughs> so the two by two method failed me there. That's okay though. That's okay. It worked fine on the other one though. This one's a piece of cake. <laughs> it's just self-explanatory. Just just when you look at it, you can tell how it's done. All right. So we're gonna leave the red ones for later. And we're just gonna go down this path. <laughs> I forgot that was theirs. <laughs> I guess that's why they have this here, huh? That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> uh, hello there. Hi there. Hi. How's it going? Not too good now, is it? Nope. Nope. Definitely. You're you're even deader than dead now. <laughs> Treasure chests. Voila. I will take that. And dark pearl loop. Uh, I'll ask for this. I want to stop one like. Yeah, somewhere around there will do and oh wait what am I what am I waiting there for? It should have been around the corner. I just wanna offset them. Because what I wanna do here is get Yeah, so I can get my Oh, I wasn't standing on the <laughs> Okay, okay, we got it, we got it anyway. <laughs> I was gonna say because they're all lined up and when they're when they're all lined up like that, if you stop them both at the same time, you can't climb on top of it because of the spikes, so yeah. So then anyway, let's just go ahead and do the same thing with that. Oh, um, <laughs> it's not close enough to the edge. Okay, flip over once, please. Oh! Well, that might... I think that'll still work. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh, 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 battle time! Oh no! Battle time! <laughs> if you're... If, bleh, if you forgot, what you gotta do is get them to be in the sand, you know, with the, with the little sand puffs. Little erg to rock, get yourself up on their level and attack like crazy if you can. <laughs> Might actually be better to just stay on the top upper layer. And then, uh, eh, no, no, not cooperating, are you? No, of course not. Well, I, I guess, I guess I too wouldn't want to be dead, so I, I can understand that. We can, we can relate with each other. So, yeah, and you know, you, you, if you take take me on directly, it's just not going to work well for you. I've got a sand wand, and I know how to use it. Ah, okay, one down, three to go. I don't know how I didn't even kill more than that already, but whatever. <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. I was going to say, I don't, I don't think I got that one in time before it popped back in the sand. All right, so, yeah, if you draw a, a draw with the sand wand over where their location is... 
uh, when they're above the sand, it'll push them into the sand. So, oh, oh, that's, oh, there's a lot more here than I thought, huh? <laughs> that's okay with me. As long as I can keep stunning you guys, it's over. Woo! <laughs> okay, okay. So, what can we do now with that door open? Well, we can get a whole bunch of treasure. Like, remember I was saying before that you can find treasures and stuff like that buried under the sand? Well, this room is suspiciously empty, isn't it? Oh, there's the boss key. <laughs> but there's more than just the boss key in here. There are some rupees, a big green rupee, and everything. Look at that beautifulness. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there something like... Yeah, there's a red one there. Yeah, so you can unearth all sorts of stuff with the sand rod. Heck yeah! Twitchy shadow. Alright, let's grab this and take her over to the boss door. Do 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 do. This could take me a while. Uh, oh, this actually could close to be a problem. Oh, go, 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 go. You're so slow, so, slow, so, slow, so, slow. So. Okay. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Um. So yeah, I think that's about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot about you again! So that's about it for this dungeon, I guess, other than uh, making your way to the boss door. Although, the boss is... it's kind of lengthy, so I might actually want to separate it for the next part. So I also like to get some rabbits after I finish the dungeon, too, because, you know, I can get all those sand rabbits, as I said. So I'm gonna drop that key over there. Don't drop it in there. Like, I think it'll poop back out over there, and that would suck. Okay, so now we need to do... Okay, now what we need to do is get the red one to cooperate and go on to said red hole. So we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of two by twos, I guess. I got the blue one actually back in place by accident. Uh, oh, wait, that the red one is way off. It's timing. <laughs> there we go. That's gonna go two over. Voila, that's one. And for the other one, I'm just gonna get my body out of the way there. And let's see here. Yeah, I definitely have to put more thought into these than that other one. <laughs> two by two completely fails me here. Uh, okay. How did this work? Uh, maybe it doesn't completely fail me. I mean, it still offsets the timing. I mean, not the timing, the, uh, the order of like when that button hits into place and whatnot. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and flip that like this. And because I'll be able to get that red one turned up to the top, I think, soon enough. If I keep going like this. Hold on, hold on. Um maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, poopers, scoopers. Yeah, I wanted it to be at the top there so I could flip it over twice over there. But alas, alas, no. Oh, wait, I got it. <laughs> yeah! Victory is mine over the dungeon's many puzzles! Okay, now, oops, what does it say? Okay, now, get the camera so that it cooperates by going near the edge. Grab that. Hurry across so you don't lose that key. <laughs> For the love of Arceus, don't lose that key. And there we go. I mean, it would, I mean, it's not that hard to go back and get that key or anything like that, but it's just... It's a long walk. <laughs> hmm. 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 Well, this is a suspiciously empty room. What could be here? Could there be a boss? Nah, of course not. Oh, this is actually... I thought that was a pit at first. Perspective was failing me. <laughs> Uh, it just hurts to recover yourself, probably, in all these locations. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Alas, alas, no rupees, and because, well, you know, we're full at health, so not really concerned about ex having extra hearts. So yeah, not all that hard to get here, now was it? <laughs> Heck yeah! Alright, so since, as I said, the boss is going to be sort of lengthy, I think it's probably best to end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I tackle said lengthy boss and get the remaining sand rabbits. Probably. <laughs> Who knows if I'll pull out my hair over those hairs.